So lethal weapon. Uh, I mean, I remember this as a as a. I watched it far too young when I was about five or six. I think my uncle showed it to me. Um, <laughs> what was the lure of of this? I mean, had you been fans of the films beforehand, or mm -hmm. was it the script for this one, or was it a kind of a combination of both? I was a huge fan of of the lethal weapon films, but that made me a little bit nervous to sign on. But then I read Matt Miller's script, and I fell in love with the script, and I thought, okay, this could be really cool, which made me want to sign on. Yeah, for me too. Um, I watched Lethal Weapon growing up and then I watched it again without knowing there was a TV series coming. There was a marathon of all four films. And I, of course, sat and watched that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I did take breaks. Um, but so I was a huge fan. So when I heard about the TV series, I thought the same thing. I thought, for me, I thought, why? You know, leave my movie alone. You know, don't ruin it. And then I read the script and I was like, please, can I be in that um, to be a part of Lethal Weapon? I knew it was special. And after shooting the pilot, I knew we had our Riggs and Roger. And I, I just knew I couldn't wait for the fans to see it. I can't believe it's been 30 years of this film. Crazy. This year. It's been 30 it's, years? It's 30 years for this the first year. One. Yeah. Wow. For the first one, which is just insane. That's insane. 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 Uh, you spoke about the script there. I mean, obviously, I get a lot of fans of this particular film and the, the genre would kind of be like, you guys be a bit like, mm, why and yeah, everything yeah, yeah, else. Yeah. But I can imagine the script kind of sold you on on this it, series. It did. it did. The script sold me because I, I read it and I said, oh, well, this could sort of stand on its own. And so that's what that's what really made me want to sign on because it, it didn't need the title Lethal Weapon. I mean, obviously it helps immensely because there's such a huge fan base, but I really thought it, it stood on its own. It's the thing as well. I mean, it's a sort of a show that in the eighties the world was quite different in nineteen eighty seven to what it is now. So it allows the makers and you guys in, as characters to yeah. kind of take them into new a directions. New I guess that was quite exciting to be able to take them in oh, a yes. new direction. I think for our TV series to take it to a new direction than the, the um, franchise, it opens all these doors. You know, my character, although a, a stay-at-home mom is always modern, I always want to say that. Um, but women work. And they're able to do that and have a family and, and, and be successful at both of them. And I think that's important to see. And I love that they've done that. And with Cahill, now as a, you know, you can talk for this, but the change with therapy, mm -hmm. you know, people really understand that it's important and it's mm -hmm. not a joke. And I think, and from the films, she used to be the, bun not Cahill, it was a different <laughs> name, a bun of jokes. And I love to see that this is being taken seriously as well. Yeah, it's nice to see a, a man, you know, be vulnerable and not be ashamed of that in any way. And mm. I think that's 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 something, you know, people should all take a page from Riggs's book because therapy's healthy. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about the guys because they seem, they're not obviously imitating Mel Gibson and Danny Glover, no. they're taking it into a direction as well. I yeah. mean, what was it like being on set with them because they, they both seem so naturally kind of, that these roles were meant for them in yes. many ways. Did you did you interview both of Damon That's and next. Clayton? Next. <laughs> You're have fun. You'll see. You'll see. Um, they are very similar in terms of their banter together, and I think without them, the show would not have worked. Mm -hmm. And if they were trying to emulate or imitate. Uh, not emulate, because that's a great thing, but imitate uh, Mel and Danny, it would not have worked. I think that's why other um, TV series have failed when they tried to copy a movie. I think they're their own um, Riggs and Roger, and I think um, it helps that they are, their chemistry is so wonderful. Does it add more pressure knowing that you have a, a series that, as I say, there's so many, so many people are, are hesitant by it, but also very excited by it, and the mm -hmm. fact that you've had great success now that the show's been out and everything else, is that, that must make you feel so wonderful that people have responded to it so yeah. positively. Yeah, it's amazing. We, we were just, um, we, we keep finding out more little by little, and we found out that it's 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 now airing in Japan, it's airing in the Netherlands, I mean, it's airing in Brazil. Yeah, I know. It's so It's number exciting. one in 21 countries. It's so cool. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And we are crazy excited about that. Yeah. And does it make us nervous for the second season since the first season was so successful? I'm not. I think because we trust our cast, and we definitely trust our creator, our, mm -hmm. our showrunner, Matt Miller. Um, and we're our own thing now. Mm -hmm. we, we're Lethal Weapon, but we're our own Lethal Weapon. We don't have to answer to the movies at all now. You now know I feel I mean? like we can run with it and yeah. have fun. Yeah. Do you have, I mean, I was going to ask the guys this as well. Obviously, there's three other movies as part of this, you know, the movies before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, kind of, for your characters and for the general story, are you hopeful that it kind of goes off on its own tangent and maybe drops in little nods to everything else. I know some fans would probably say, oh, we hope to see a Joe Pesci kind of character come into the How far have you series. gotten? Does they've only shown us a little, a few oh, episodes. Really? So yeah, I've got okay. to catch up, but they've only mm. sent me a few. Leo gets comes. Yeah, back, I think that's, is, yeah. Yeah, so we, that's what we do in this series. We 
pay honor to the film. So mm -hmm. we will put little things in from the films that people love to see. Like, I it's don't like know little if we can say. To super fans. Yeah, so, like okay. the Leo yeah. Getz character <laughs> or the Hilary Burton character, mm -hmm. who's like the Rene Russo character. They do do that just a little, but that's it. I think that's smart. So what's lovely is that you're not missing anything if you hadn't seen the movies, but if you have seen the movies, it's all the more satisfying because yes. you know what they're talking about, which is cool. Obviously, with that thirty-year gap, we've got a, huge, a whole new generation of people who don't know lethal know the weapons. Movies. You know, so that we for us, we love the idea of us being the lethal weapon for the younger generation, and it also m makes them want to go see the films. You know, the, mm -hmm. to to say, oh, well, oh, I like the film too. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing fans to both of the. Um, what I say, franchise? All generations. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, what's the lure of TV these days? Because TV is there's such a huge... I mean, TV is as big as film these days. There's Bigger. so much stuff going on. I mean, you guys were involved with OJ, if memory serves, mm -hmm. which was just a huge event, and everyone huge. was talking about it, and yeah. it won loads of prizes and everything else. Yeah. It must be great to have both sides, film and TV, to, to have so many exciting projects that you can kind of do both. Mm -hmm. It used to be that film actors couldn't possibly work in television, yeah. and now it's, it's TV's this luxury, because it's just this rich arena where the characters, the writing is so good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a huge fan of, like, Handmaid's Tale and the show Billions, and it's just so, especially for women, the roles are so plentiful mm -hmm. and so good. So it's like, how can you not work in TV right now? It's so exciting. Yeah, I, I, I would venture to believe that it's a little more exciting than film um, right now. Um, yeah, <laughs> they're just, especially for women, especially for us. You know, there's so many great roles, like she said, and, and the storylines and what they're able to do. And what's so great about the TV series, and I'll say with Lethal Weapon, is that you get this whole 21 episodes or 22 episodes or whatever it is to um, per season to follow these characters and get involved with these characters, um, which is different from the films. And even with the first Lethal Weapon with Riggs, I always say this, we watched Riggs lose his wife in terms of um, we, we weren't... Um, we, we didn't follow his story because she lost him and we knew that, but with our rigs, you actually are involved in the story. You're feeling the pain, and so when he's losing his mind, you're involved with that and not just watching it. I think that's um, mm -hmm. beautiful about TV as well. Uh, for season two then, I mean, have you guys seen anything yet, and what, what kind of do you hope for your characters to see mm -hmm. in, in season two? Because season two, in a lot of stuff, you get into, my friend always calls it the mythology, in the sense that you get to know the characters even more and yes. even deeper. Yeah. Are you hoping that that, that comes from, from season two? Yes. Yeah. We that don't, would be wonderful. Yeah. So for season two, we would love, that was a great way that you put mm -hmm. it. It's like to, to yeah, delve Now that everything is established, yeah. it, would, it would be lovely to delve a little bit deeper into all the characters. Absolutely. And do we know anything? Anything. We really but don't. No, honestly, <laughs> we really, we legitimately we, we don't, don't know anything. We, really we could make don't. some stuff up. Yeah, we could, but, and hopefully yeah. they would use it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't know so here we go. Let's make up something. Yeah. So Trish and Cahill rescue Riggs and Roger. We 100%. kick some butt. We do. We do some action. Mm -hmm. And you have a spinoff. Boom! <laughs> we like it with Leo Getz. There you go. It's there done. You go. Uh, ladies, thank you so much for your time. It's been an absolute thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!